we'll quickly move on to this story um courtesy of hip hop clout world which is an incredible name for a page but everyone on social media or on my side of social media has been getting really you know agitated and flipping annoyed and shouting from the rooftops about this really innocuous story that i don't really think you know really needs our attention but this is courtesy of them and it says twitter reacts to djmv this is one person from the breakfast club on power alongside charlemagne who said his wife is taking a 20 day girl strip vacation so i know it says 29 here but i think it was a typo it should be 20 days vacation so this is dj envy talking about it and i'm going to comment on it on the other side oh actually i can't in it because the flipping speaker thing is on bear me one sec while i put the speaker thing on there we go let's play that one more time for 20 days so i've been packing the kids lunch and when i've been packing well, do again. In lunch, I've been seeing your comments saying, "Why you put so many snacks in the bag? Why donuts? Why popums? Why uh, salami you and daddy cheese sandwich?" Daddy that don't know how to cook. So, of course, my wife is. Uh, she went on a girls' trip. She's gone for twenty days. So I've been packing the kids' lunch, and when I've been packing the lunch, I've been seeing your comments saying, "Why you put so many snacks in the bag? Why donuts? Why popums? Why uh, salami and cheese sandwich?" You and daddy that don't know how to cook. So, of course. So obviously, everyone's going crazy at the fact that he is letting, which is a really strange term. When it comes to these type of things, um, his wife go on a holiday with her girls for 29 days. I guess the only thing to kind of preface this story is with, and again, I'd know this only because I listened to The Breakfast Club and I was on it pretty much heavy when it was pretty popular at the time. Now I haven't watched it in many, many, many years. But what I do remember is that DJ Envy, the guy, went through a pretty public uh, cheating scandal where I think a few ladies came out and basically said that he was play, you know, cheating on his lady and stepping out on his, on his lady and whatnot. And I guess because they've been together for a long time and they have loads of kids, it was a really big issue at the time. I think the wife was threatening to divorce him. And then DJ Envy had to do what most guys do and put his pride to one side because he knew day to day he couldn't really live without her. And, you know, having to quote unquote start again is just not something is going to be ever going to factor into it and most guys as well when they do cheat especially at this level you're not usually cheating because you don't think your wife is good enough you're just doing it because you have the access to do it and the availability to do it it's basically a convenience thing which is pretty hard to take if you're a girl to hear a dude say that it's just a convenience thing and you didn't actually feel anything or it's not that deep not that serious it probably makes the situation worse which is why you don't say anything you don't try and explain yourself you just try and work to get it back to whatever level it was prior and hope to pray hope and pray that your partner forgives you anyway he did that he went on radio publicly declared his love for his wife said how much he was sorry and did it in a very public humiliating kind of quote-unquote way and then she she accepted and they got back together but it felt like ever since then the power balance especially in public has shifted and she's somehow um you know become the person who's now quote unquote wearing the trousers so a lot of people view it as maybe dj envy being a cuck being a simp and allowing his wife to do that and also some people are viewing in a way of like he had no choice because of what he'd done to her she's kind of in a very subtle way getting her get back now by going on a girl's trip and for dudes that are really possessive and have a weird warped very um circumstantial situational um you know double standards way of looking at the world like he's probably the dj i imagine is the kind of guy who's like oh if i cheat a million times my wife has to take me back but if she sucks one guy's dick who isn't me then suddenly you know i I can't have her anymore she's for the streets i kick her out i call all these names under the sun I, i think he's one of those kind of guys so those kind of guys usually do overcompensate on the other end when it comes to holding down or trying to help and rescue relationships that they have because they don't want them to go and they feel as if they'll be alone or without it but for me personally I don't see the problem with this. I think this is the maybe the main reason why I have such an issue when it comes to relationships anyway, because of the compromising side of it. And I mentioned it prior. I've noticed in my adult life and I've noticed in my kind of social outgoings and whatnot, and the fact that I am in this situation now at my big age with a very little, if not, um, if not, a very little, if not, nothing friendship group. I've realized at this point in my life, I've did it on I've done it on purpose. I know it could be the other way around. People also saying, you know, you know, categorically, hey, I don't want to be your friend. That could also be a really big thing. I'm sure that is the case. But I think most of it has to do with the fact that I prioritize me. So I'm incredibly selfish. 
And because of that, I find it very difficult to compromise. I find it very difficult to meet people where they are and to kind of, you know, give something to take something. It's kind of doesn't really operate in my brain. I just do what I want to do at all times, which obviously isn't the best ingredient for somebody who's in a relationship, especially with somebody that you love and that you care about because you have to kind of work as a team. So the idea of me having to ask permission to go on any kind of holiday or trip, whether it's one day, three day, four, five, 20, 15, 50, sorry, is ridiculous. But it's also conscious of the fact that these guys are married. They have kids. They, you know, share a life together. I think if I'm not mistaken, the wife is like a stay at home mom. He makes all the money and stuff. So there's clearly a um, adult relationship where they, they both take responsibility of two parts of a household that are incredibly important holding it down financially and of course looking after the kids and the home right and making sure that's all well and good so they come together as a married couple so that kind of work so in that case you have to kind of coordinate with your partner so that they know how to kind of you know manage the things with the kids and want like i said preparing the lunches who's picking up who blah de, blah 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 but the people who are criticizing it are looking at her as if she's like some 19 year old hussy trying to fly out to go and hit some random bellboy in a hotel somewhere that's a little bit beneath her you would imagine if all intents and purposes and i'd also imagine she's also going on this trip with other women of her age or in the same similar position who have partners as well that they're going with so it makes things complete so they have partners too who are letting them go quote unquote it would be different if she maybe was going with all her friends who happen to be single and who are always very vocal and you know uh, boastful about all their flipping sexual conquests maybe as a dude that'd be a bit difficult to take if your fr- if your lady or partner has one of these kind of people as friends but i think in general if you really are wanting a balanced healthy relationship especially in 2023 going forward i feel like the way people are so warped and wrapped up in their own reality and they literally think they are the star of their own reality tv show i think it's quite important to let people do them when they ask you to let them do them i think it's really important because the fact that people would ask is actually a big deal um to it's instead of just assuming i can do what i want to do because that kind of you know can throw up some weird questions but i think the fact that people just can ask and consider and talk about certain things is actually a big thing and i think somebody's willing to kind of meet you where you're at and kind of ask for your permission or let you know what they want to do that's probably someone you should be holding on to because they respect you enough to let you know in case you do feel weird about it. But in general, I think letting people do what they want is pretty much some, pretty much the foundation, I think, of a good health relationship because what's the opposite? You're going to tell us you can't go to a girl's trip. Then all the girls go, they start posting amazing pictures, they come up with amazing reports, and now your girl's going to be you know, um, hating you forever and ever for not letting her go on this once a lifetime trip where they happen to bump into flipping Denzel Washington or flipping Rihanna in Barbados or somewhere. You don't want to be that guy. So let them go, let them have fun, let them enjoy themselves and go back that way. And if it is a weird way to kind of curry or win back favor from your wife because you cheated, then you have to do what you have to do. Especially if you decide you want to stay with the person. If you want to stay with the person, you have to do whatever it takes to rescue that relationship whatever it takes and if it means having to put your pride and your nuts to one side and let her go on a holiday knowing full well that she may accidentally fall on top of the bellboy or blow somebody from the kitchen somewhere you just have to take that l in it it just is part of the game you have to take but the idea that he's a simp or a cuck for it the idea he has to let and she's some somehow kind of like his sister he's kind of like his wife's sister daughter thing is really bizarre and also just shows the nature of like you know relationships talk on social media it's all very possession based it's all very transactional you got the girls on one side saying yeah but my man has to pay my bills has to do has to do that and the other side you got guys saying oh if she slept with five people she might as well be a prostitute um i want my woman to do this want to do to do that it's very transactional very possession based there's not a lot of feelings emotions understanding personality conversation compatibility talk it's all just about you know what kind of comes first to mind when you see somebody and also how big their wallet is or how nice their car is which is obviously not the right way to go about things but i guess it is what it is in this situation